today is Monday, which is the day that I post videos. I actually started filming a weekly vlog last week that I got a couple days into and then I just wasn't really feeling good about it. I already talked about this a bit in the last vlog I posted, but I've just been having a really hard time lately deciding where I want to draw the line between my work and my personal life. When it comes to vlogging, it's just, they're so intertwined. I always like teeter-totter back and forth about what I wanna do. When I'm out with friends, it's not my first thought to bring out my camera. But then when I go back and I edit the weekly vlogs, I'm not happy with what I'm posting because I feel like it's not an accurate representation of what I did that week because I didn't film like 80% of what I've done. And then I feel like my content becomes repetitive because I'm just filming the same things at home. When I watch my vlogs back, I'm happiest when I do get like a little bit of everything when I'm out and about. But it's just like in the moment, it's not what I wanna be doing. And I don't know, I don't want it to consume my life, but I also want to be making vlogs that I'm happy with. And I just don't know where like the middle ground is. That is why I stopped halfway through last week and I don't have a weekly vlog. Maybe at the end of this, I'll throw in what I did film. I don't know if that's something you're, you wanna see or not. I'll probably throw it in. So yeah, that is just something I've been thinking about for, well, it's something I always think about. I also filmed a get ready with me and I just wasn't stoked about how that turned out, but I do think I'm gonna film like an updated everyday makeup or just some sort of get ready with me. I used to do those all the time and they were so fun, but. I haven't done one in a very long time. I have not talked about Mello in forever, which is my candle company. I have decided I'm going to be shutting it down. This is something I've been thinking about for a really long time. I have a small amount of stock. So if you guys wanna check out the website, whatever is available is what I have left. I might do one more order of jars and restock and then sell out those. It was such a passion project when I started and I still love it and I don't regret starting Mellow at all. It was so fun. It's just not something that I'm passionate about anymore. There's so many things that I wanna do and I can't do them all at the same time. And it's just realistically, if I wanted Mellow to be successful, I would need to put in a lot more time, effort, money, Thank you so much to everyone who did support me throughout that journey. I also thought about selling it if anyone wanted to take it over, but I don't really know how that works or like how to price that out, but I'm probably gonna like slowly phase it out. The other thing I wanted to talk about, and this is something that I've been purposely avoiding, but I have never received so many DMs comments, messages about a topic, and it is breakups. As most of you know, I went through a breakup during COVID times, and apparently a lot of you did around the same time as well. Most of the DMs that I was getting were people asking for advice, how to get through it. I didn't respond to many of the messages. I feel bad not responding to messages about topics like that, but I also just feel like I can't just send a quick message back and, uh, it's just a big topic and there's a lot of variables and each person's situation is gonna be so different. I had some people asking me for details about my situation so they could make a decision about theirs and like, that's just not how things work. Every relationship is different, every breakup is different. You know, you need to make decisions based off your own individual circumstances and like it's a decision between you and another person. You shouldn't be asking a random girl on the internet for advice on a situation that I know nothing about. But for anyone who's going through a hard time right now, I thought I would just share a couple of my personal tips. These may be quite generic, but I think, in my personal opinion, I feel like these are like the most helpful things to do. Number one, cut off all contact. I know in certain situations that's not possible, so if you are in a situation like that, just keep it to the necessary conversations. If you find that you are stalking them online, Unfollow them, mute them, block them if you cannot help yourself. Probably don't wanna do it, but if you wanna get through this faster, it's going to help. I know a lot of people like in the beginning stages just want to get the person back and you're worried that if you pull away, you're gonna lose them for forever. You gotta remember what is meant to be will be and in the moment, your judgment is gonna be clouded by emotions. It's not good to be making decisions right after a breakup. Also, it's different if you're on a break or you're just working through things. If you actually broke up, that is the decision. Like, it's done. I feel like I'm the friend that will just like tell you things straight up and I don't like to sugarcoat things. I always get so frustrated when my friends just wanna keep going back to someone where it's not working and it's like, if you decided to break things off, you don't need to be having conversations about how to fix it. It's like, it's done. 
It's like maybe in the future, once you have worked on your own things, you know, your emotions have calmed down, then you can have a conversation about it, but you're not, it's just not gonna be helpful to be talking about it right after. So that is just for anyone that is not actually wanting to let go. You need to let go for it to come back to you if it's meant for you. Anyways, <laughs> cut off all contact and then work on yourself. Like take time for yourself, do things that make you feel good improve your life, level up. Also, spending time with friends or if you're close with your family. Sorry, that's my dishwasher. I ended up reconnecting with some of my old friends. I made new friends. I spent a lot more time with the friends that I did have. I have such a stronger connection or like a larger circle of friends and stronger friend connections now. I know some people get into relationships where you let your friends drift away or maybe like you lose all contact with your friends because you're just so consumed in your relationship. So when you break up, it's like, who do you have left? Don't be afraid to reach back out to old friends or put yourself out there and make new friends, but it's definitely important to have people around you. You don't wanna just be isolated. Um, luckily in most places in the world like restrictions are lifting so you can be around other people now But yeah, just get out and do things that are gonna make you feel good about yourself um, Pick up a new hobby or you know throw yourself into work Switch up your look change your hair go to the gym get fit get healthy start eating well Just do things for you that are gonna make you feel good about yourself. Oh, I do feel like I jumped ahead of myself though one of the most important things, or probably the most important thing, is to allow yourself to feel your feelings. Breakups suck, you're gonna be sad. You know, you can't just expect yourself to immediately feel great and get back out there. If you don't allow yourself to feel the feelings in the beginning, you, they're just gonna be built up and you're gonna have to face them later down the road. So it's better to just deal with them in the beginning. If you need to ball your eyes out for a few days, like that's a good release. So just let yourself do that. So yeah, feel your feelings and then it's also super important to reflect on what happened. You know, even if a breakup seems one-sided, it's generally not. I feel like both parties generally play a part in it. So it's gonna be super helpful for you to pinpoint, you know, like what was your part in it? What was their part in it? What can you do to improve yourself so you don't bring these issues into your next relationship? What about that partner didn't work out for you? Like what do you want or what don't you want in a partner moving forward? If you don't reflect and figure these things out, you're just gonna be repeating patterns. Definitely feel your feelings and reflect and then put time and effort into, you know, getting out there, building yourself back up. Nobody wants to go through a breakup, but there's such a great opportunity for personal growth, uh, a catalyst for change, a chance for a fresh start. It's often a blessing in disguise. Once the dust settles and hindsight is 2020, you'll look back, probably realize there's a lot better for you out there, or maybe you needed to work on yourself before you could get back with the person. I don't like to think of it that way though, because I feel like you're stuck in thinking in the past. If it's meant to happen, it'll happen. Just focus on you, get yourself to a place where you are happy and thriving, high vibe energy, and you will attract better things into your life. Only better things ahead. But anyways, that is just a long spiel on that. To everyone that did message me though, I hope you guys are doing good. If you're still having a hard time, I hope that something that I said helps, I don't know. I'm trying to think what else I had to update you on. I have actually booked my first international trip. I have not been on a plane in like one and a half years, which I think a lot of you guys can relate. A few friends and I are gonna be in Europe in September and I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous though, just with the world and you know, things can change so quickly. Um, but fingers crossed because we've booked it and we're going. I will definitely be doing vlogs there and make sure you're following my Instagram because I'll be posting a lot on there. I feel like Instagram is a lot easier to keep up with these days just because it's more like instant and on my phone versus like pulling out my camera. But I'm so excited about that. I have been doing a lot of online shopping as well for like new clothes. I'm kind of doing like a revamp of my closet which I'll show you a mini haul in the vlog footage that I have, but that was only like a small part of it. I've been buying a lot of colorful clothes, I think just think for the summer. I'm obsessed with the styles that are out right now, just like the really bright colors and the prints and like the crazy designs. I wear so much black, gray, white, nude, which is like neutrals, but this summer, I just wanna wear colors. Especially traveling, I feel like you can get away with wearing like crazier outfits, so I probably need to chill. I've honestly placed so many orders, but maybe I'll do like a vacation 
outfits video. I have not done a fashion video in a hot minute as well because I normally just wear like sweatsuits, but we are trying to change that now that we can actually go out and about again. Cause yeah, for the past like two years, I'm like, what is the point in putting together a cute outfit? I just wanna wear sweats at home. I feel like I had some other things I wanted to talk about, but I cannot remember at the moment. So I'm just gonna end the ramble here. I'll throw in the vlog footage that I got from this past week. Let's just jump right into that. I kind of went on a shopping spree for clothes because I'm trying to revamp my closet a little bit. So I got a few pieces from H&M, as well as Aritzia. Oh, this is not the color that I thought it was. Okay, this is just one of the oversized like boyfriend hoodies. It's a zip up though, but I thought it was more of like a, a rose color. It's definitely like brown. I kind of like it though. I'm gonna try it on, we'll see. I also went with this tank top. I just thought this was a really good staple. I have one other white like crop tank that I wear all the time and it's starting to get worn in. So I thought I would just get like a good quality white crop. And then I just got two packs of these crew socks. I find it's really hard to find socks that are like not too high, but not like the ankle socks, if you know what I mean. So I just got these light gray ones in white. Kind of just like basic staple pieces from Maritzia. From H&M, I got this midi dress. We'll see how that fits. I feel like that's gonna be hit or miss. Wait a minute. Oh no, did I accidentally buy two? Oh no, this one's different. Yeah, this dress is kind of similar though, but it's shorter and a slightly different color. I couldn't decide between the two, so I just got both, but I probably will end up returning one of them. I also got a blazer. I literally never wear blazers, but I wanted an oversized white one. I don't know about the material of this though. We'll see, but this is a small. It's supposed to be like really oversized. And then the last thing, now that I see these, I don't know how I feel about them, but they're just like mini heels and this is kind of like a cushion. I just feel like this would be like super comfy and they wouldn't give you blisters because this is like padded. I don't know about them now though, now that I'm looking at them. Also like every single thing I got is like white or nude, I just realized. This last package is actually a PR package for a collab that I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing an Instagram picture with this wine. Tika and I just got back from a walk. Um, I need to go grocery shopping because I didn't have enough time to do it yesterday. I'm also going boating today. It was not the original plan. I just feel like there's so much to do in a day right now and I feel a little overwhelmed, but I want to go. So we're going to keep it chill. I'm going to bring sparkling water and some healthy snacks. It's going to be good. But yeah, I don't have a ton of time to get ready. So I'm going to grocery shop really quick right now, come home, get ready, and then we are leaving. Let's take this off. I just got back from the grocery store. I think boating got pushed back an hour, which is perfect, so I'm not really rushed anymore. Um, but I got a few snacks for the boat. I got these chips. I'm gonna bring a Go Macro bar, some Fiji water. Um, I thought I brought something else, but anyways. I feel like I bought one other thing. Um, I'm gonna bring some LaCroix as well, um, but for just groceries that I needed at home, I have grass-fed butter. Some oats, bananas. I got two chickpea pastas, those ones are my favorite. Oh, I also got this shot that I'm just gonna take right now. It is turmeric, clementine, and black pepper. I really like this brand, they make good juice as well. We've also got strawberries, some more coffee. This is the 365 like Whole Foods brand. I tried one version of this and I really didn't like it, but then this is the Pleasant Morning Blend and I actually don't mind this one. It's a really good price for like a bigger bag. And then I got a green pepper, some pink lady apples, two avocados, a lemon, oh yeah. This is watermelon that I'm gonna bring for the boat. That was the other snack that I was thinking of. Some pasta sauce. This is Italian herb, an onion. And then I got a container of Zevia and LaCroix, which is over there, but that is everything. Not too crazy, but besides the snacks, these are staple things that I buy every time um, and that I 
you can like use them for everything so that's my haul so that is the vlog footage that i got from last week thank you guys so much for watching this video i know it was kind of random i think i'm gonna take some time today to organize my thoughts and decide like what i want to film for next week so definitely check back next monday i will see you guys all then peace out